Hi ladies, welcome to this month's tutorial. Um, you're probably all wondering, or those of you that have got kits, um, why I've sent you so many scraps in a bag. <laughs> but I'm going to make that all clear now. So inside your bag you'll have lots of different pieces of paper. You'll have um, some some pieces that are already pre-cut, This, and you'll also have some pieces for tags, and some weird shaped pieces, and some pieces that I've obviously already cut things out of. And you'll have all these weird and wonderful bits in your bag. You'll also have two pieces of designer series paper. I'm using the um, Sweet Pea Design Series paper pack, which is absolutely gorgeous. Some of you've got that in your pack, some of you've got something different. You'll also have um, a piece of cardstock the same size as that. You'll also have some smaller pieces of cardstock and a few offcuts of pattern paper and coordinating pattern paper. I'm going to pop those to one side in a minute. You'll also have lots of pieces of white and you'll have some envelopes and this is where we're going to start with this month's project what you're going to need to do is you've got three envelopes and your envelopes are going to be the basis of your book which we're making so we're going to stick our envelopes together I'm just gonna and we're going to stick them back to front using the flap so I've stuck the flap of the envelope to this one. Obviously be careful when you're sticking the, um, the tab of that one down. You may want to use um, some adhesive as well just to make sure that it's not going to come apart. Okay, so you've got some pockets. And what I'm doing is I'm alternating the front and back of the envelope. Okay. And then just cutting off any excess pieces. So now my envelope does a nice little concertina. Okay, and that's the basis of my book. Now, this point that's still left here. I'm going to use one piece of my design series paper and one piece of my cardstock. And again, I'm going to lick my envelope. And I'm going to stick my cardstock to my flap on my envelope. Okay. And then I'm going to close that so that I have all my envelopes underneath my piece of cardstock. And now I'm going to add some adhesive to the front of my cardstock around all my edges. I'm going to decide which way up I want my, my pattern paper. And I'm going to sandwich the front flap of my envelope with my cardstock and my designer series paper. Okay? Now, also on the back here, I have one piece which is just completely clear. So, I'm, again, I'm going to add some adhesive to the very back envelope. I'm gonna, and then you can line up your pattern paper with the back of your envelope. Okay. As you can see, what we're getting here is we're getting a book with some flaps in it. Now, we've also got some spare pieces of cardstock, which, if you're in my Stampers 10, your pieces of cardstock have been cut to fit slightly smaller than your envelope. And they'll be in different colours. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take... The smaller squares of cardstock, these are cut to 15 and a half centimetres by 11 centimetres. So I've stuck my um, design series paper down into the corner. 
and I, I sent everybody a pattern for a top note. Um, this was available on the Stampin' Up! website. So I now I have a top note shape and I have my piece of cardstock, my piece of designer series paper behind it. And I'm going to use my large background stamp with some pale plum ink. And I'm just pressing my my ink pad onto my stamp. And I'm going to take my piece of cardstock to my stamp. So I stamp nicely all over my piece of cardstock. I'm just going to add a little bit more colour around the edges of my ink pad. And then I'm going to stick my top note onto my piece of cardstock, but I'm only going to stick three sides. So I'm going to stick the top, the side, and here. Okay, and then I have a flap on this side here. And that will just slip inside, so I can put some journaling on it or, or whatever I fancy putting inside there. I'm going to add a bit of ribbon to that so I've decorated that piece. Now that one's got a piece of journaling which is going to come out that way. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to cut a slot at the top. Now, I'm going to use the one inch circle punch for this. And if you look at the side of the punch, there's a mark on either side of the punch, which shows you halfway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top of my cardstock. I'm going to line it up. There's the centre of my top note. I'm going to line that up with the halfway mark. So I've cut out a circle at the top, and I'm going to add my adhesive down the sides and the bottom, obviously, so whatever I slip in there isn't going to disappear. Side. Now when I'm sticking this onto the front of my, my envelope, I don't want any adhesive down the front side here of my envelope, because I want to be able to slip things into it. So I'm going to add my adhesive down one side on there, and then I might add just a little bit to the three sides there, and that way I can put my piece of cardstock on, and then I can still slip things into my pocket. And that one, and each page can be completely different. It's it's up to you. And don't forget to decorate the inside as well. To close it off, um, what I'm using on mine, um, some of the chocolate chip satin ribbon. I'm going to add some adhesive just to the back piece of the ribbon. And then I can tie my my lit my little book closed. You can see my ribbon stacked out. And there's my basic book. I'm not going to do every single page for you, but when you open up your book, you'll be able to see each page has got something completely different. And when you get to the back, because you're only sticking this side here, you're able to open up this side as well. So you, s you have two more sides to put some more hidden journaling in the back. If you want to see this one finished, then pop on over to my blog and um, there'll be some more pictures of that there with some more details and also what I've popped inside. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you have fun making your, your picture book. Bye.